Hey everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel. My name is Emma Casey and how are you? I hope you're all doing well. So today we have another unboxing from Bell Art Diamonds. Um, so this is part of the three that I've, the last part of three that I've unboxed and I'm really excited to share these with you. So these were part of the last new releases that had just been released, uh, I think was last month so yeah i was really really excited um and so happy they came so quickly um it can vary it can you know take a few weeks so if it does you know take a while please bear with um but you know i was really really impressed i've had it where it's been over a month before but 12 days is pretty amazing um and i love what they're doing over there they're doing amazing so better art of diamonds comes in this black box um, nice sleek black box with this geometric rainbow down the side, which I love. And you've got the instructions on the back. Um, I think I forgot to share that in the last unboxing, so I do apologise. So let's open it up. So I saw GB Maltese unbox this, Maltese, and I was really, really impressed with her unboxing. She did an amazing job um, and just made me really excited to see what it was like in person. So here is your Bella Art de Nicole essential tray. Love these, they come with every kit. And you know, if you're buying their kits often, you could have a nice collection of these and get a towel for them, you know. Um, but I love these um, for smaller color areas and color changes, and they pour really nicely. They've got nice high ridges and sides. Brilliant quality, really, really nice. So I really love these. Um, I love that they add these to their kits. It's, you know, you've got Bell Art de Nicole and Bell Art Diamonds. So Bell Art de Nicole, the owners of Bell Art Diamonds. And they, you know, it's all combined on one site. So it's www.bellartdenicole.com. And so you can get everything you need from there. And Bell Art de Nicole make amazing 3D printed accessories. Um, so you can get them all together in one site. So let's have a look. So we've got this nice canvas. I didn't even say what the size was, did I? I'll just open it up. So here it is. So this is rendered in a smaller size as well. Um, but I think it's, they've done an amazing job. I said in the last videos, I was really, really impressed with their renders and how well they were able to render them in a smaller size because it's quite often that people like to work with smaller sizes. So get those out. out. So this is a poured glue canvas, so you can um, roll it the other way. Don't worry about that. You can sort that out. That's not a permanent thing. That's just where the glue is um, and the um, cover is on the glue. I'll show you what to do that in a minute if I remember. So just do that. And there we go. And it will flatten. So there he is. So this is called Dragonfly Surprise and there's the image there. I'll show you on the sticker sheet in a minute. So it's licensed from Emma Casey and it's 45 by 50 centimetres and it's a brilliant render. Really, really happy with it. It's got 47 colours. It is poured glue. See, it's nice and sticky and you've got a nice thick sheet over the top as well. So what you can do is... Um, it might be a bit awkward because I'm on the carpet, but you just pull it back like this and then just push it down like that. Try not to get myself in the camera as well and then sort of do that. But I'm doing it a little bit awkwardly, but if you just do that and you just flatten it out like that, it will take those things out like i'm not jogging the camera right now so yeah let's see it will take those out so it's not a permanent thing but um sorry jogging the camera do apologize so i should do that with the other side as well i'm surprised i've managed to be able to do it on the carpet actually but it's not going to affect anything it's just the way it is do the other side i'll do a better job after the after filming and when i actually get to work on him so yeah there's some bubbles in there but that's what i've just done so yeah i can feel that bubble but look at that isn't that amazing just wonderful 
just they've captured the image so amazingly and they do try to get the renders as close to the image as possible which i believe they do and that dragonfly has come out so so well i reckon that would look really nice with um crystals some emerald colored crystals or things if you was to um enhance it so let's see so you've got the legend coming down this way facing towards you and then it's going the re reverse way up the top there so when you turn around and work with diamond painting you've got it facing you you've got bella art to the coal at the bottom there bella art diamonds at the top there and the socials around the edges so here is the sticker sheet it's pre-cut stickers and there is the image and you can see the size there 45 by 50 centimeters 50 centimeters and they're better I can't speak Bell Art to Nicole and Bell Art Diamonds are getting super hot so yes so we have um one two three four so four um Bella Sparkle Dust drills and then yeah just double check yep and then one two three A B's so I'm not going to get the colours all out, but I'm going to show you the colour palette so you can see. Because I'm not working on this, so I don't want to open them um, and just have them all loose. So, But look at that lovely vibrant yellow there. So what I'll do is I'll get the ABs out and things like that so I can share with you the um, special drills. So here we are. Open it here and the drill and also before i forget the numbers go from one to seven in order so symbol one number one symbol one number two symbol two so it's no confusion there for you and um, when you're working on your diamond painting so i love that they do that oh yeah sorry one to eight thing is for me when i'm unboxing i'm thinking a load of things at once so i'm trying to um, remember everything so trying to find all the special drills so that one is not a special drill there's an AB there let's move down there yeah I think that's all of them okay so I love that they are packed nice and neatly in here and let's have a look at these drills so there's that sticker sheet so the first color we have is the ab which is this symbol here and that will be in i feel like i have to look close to see where it is that's why i was kept bringing up the canvas the other day to to my eye um Oh, so there's some in the flower at the bottom here just there um, I might get closer to the canvas with the camera so we don't keep going back and forth okay so I'm having a look closer now this is easier I had just had the picture too far away from me so yeah they're there they're around this flower and these are leaves here at the back here. They're leaves. I like to do multicoloured leaves. I just think they're so much more fun. You know, just green leaves I find quite boring to do. Um, might give some ideas on some su suggestions for enhancements for this style and painting. Um, so we've got this. This is really pretty. I don't know. The camera is not showing its true self, but... It's got this really gorgeous gold flex on this um, one. This Bella Sparkle Dust is just really nice. And that's 740. And that is the symbol. This one here. And that will be here. That's going to look really pretty. Around there and around there and around there. I can see some up in the flower here. Sorry, you can't see up there around this area and then I'm trying to see if you can see any in the dragon 
No. Oh yes, in the some in there. Trying to see if there's any more. I'm trying not to take too long. Okay, so then we've got this one. Which is another better sparkle dust with a blue, lovely, pretty blue glitter on it. And that is this symbol here. And that is here in the flower. There. Dotted around there. Dotted around here. So that's his foot there. So he's laying, obviously he's laying on his front, reading his book. Um, and this is his tail here. Just This is the tip of his tail. So his tail is coming around like that. And that's his foot there. So that's um, a claw, claw, and another claw there. And that's his leg there. So that's what you see. So you can see, I'll show you in this picture. Look. So that's his tail there and his foot. Um... Yeah, and there's some more, I think, trying to see. I can't see. Next one is this, another Bella Sparkle Dust, which is this symbol here. And that is going to be in the eyes, just there. And in the book, the bottom here. That's that one. And then the 606 is this one here. And that is in the top of the flower there. And we've got a couple of green ones here. So we've got a green Bella Sparkle Dust Drill with like a gold, gorgeous gold colour on it. Really, really nice. So that one is this one. You can see that clearly there. So that one will be in the grass. Just there. There. And a few up there, these lines. And then in the dragonfly, they're in the outline of the dragonfly. And last, this green AB, which is the bacon symbol. And that is... In there there's a couple in there um, a couple in there so yeah I'm not going to go through any more because I'm going to take too long I'm just going to zoom out a little bit more so yeah I'm really really super impressed with the rendering um, I might do some enhancements on it so my suggestions even though there's all of these and I'll probably use all of these and I really love that Bella Art to Nicole with the last few dragons that I've had, I've, I've put quite a few ABs and um, Bella Sparkle Dust drills in it. I love that they've done that because it really sort of enhances the image even more, which is lovely. Um, but what I'm thinking about doing is um, putting some yellow ABs in the highlights of the dragon to bring out that more goldness of the dragon. Um, so I'll see what I, I've got. I've got to dig out have a look at my stash to see if I have enough I might just use them in some areas like if I don't have enough for one colour I might put a blob here and a blob there sort of thing um yeah so but what I do is with the ABs when I'm when I'm enhancing from my personal opinion opinion I would always go for the lighter colour um not I, I'd never want to change the brightest colour so you know like there's this yellow here I wouldn't want to change that one. Um, I would go for a lighter sort of shade. Um, possibly I might change the white ones for the ABs. We'll just see. Um, and then maybe for the dragonfly, um, some gold dr uh, drills would look nice. Gold square drills maybe. Um, these are just enhancement ideas. Um, not saying you should do them. Or some really nice... Um, just some green crystals or something just to en enhance it a little bit more so i'll see what i might do with that i might put a bit more ab's in there um i have more special drills in sort of like circles rounds than squares so 
anyway thank you so much for watching if i've missed anything out please let me know in the comments i'll just show you around the canvas quickly so you can get a closer look of it so there might there may be a little bit of confetti here and there in some areas so i will section this off but yeah this is amazing i couldn't be any happier with the way it's come out thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it please consider liking and subscribing um it's always always appreciated and i will see you all soon in the next video take care everyone bye